Getting there. What is wrong with you smoking in my house? You know, ever since that psychotic pal of yours turned up, you've turned into an even bigger asshole. Thank you. Your support in my difficult times means the world to me. I've supported you. I left everything to come here with you, and still, that crazy bastard turns up. I'll handle it. How? I don't know. Oh, you know what? Just keep him away from me and the children, you low-life, whoremongering asswipe. Did someone say yoga? No, I think she said whoremongering asswipe. Hello, Fabian, darling. <laughs> Namaste, Amanda. Namaste. Are we ready to practice? Yes. Oh, yes, she's very centered. A regular you oasis see what I of live peace with and tranquility, a this with one. Anger issues and worse friends. No you, wonder I'm so upset. You too, please. Namaste. We practice. Miguel, join us, please. No, please, no. No, no. The yoga is for sharing. Come, come, Miguel, come. Awesome. So, Fab, if you can make me as happy and mellow as my wife, it'll be a job well fucking done. We are all on our own journeys, Miguel. Yeah, no doubt. So why is she driving a tank on hers? Perhaps to deal with your hostility, Michael. Now here is good. We have the sun and the moribunda. The asshole. Now we begin and put the asshole to the earth. Yes, we begin each sequence. Tatasana. Yes. Or mountain pose. All right. Un, deux, trois. Mouth and anus are perfectly in line. Show him, Amanda. Un, deux, trois. It is perfect. Now, Michael. I don't know about this. In the nose, out the mouth. Okay, Doc? You are an ugly man, Michael. Yoga, she is beautiful. Lose yourself. You are just one mung bean in the great stool of the Ishta Devata. You were an athlete once. Come on. You know nothing, my child. That is the point. Ugh, please don't waste Fabian's time. Please, Miguel, show us what you can do. In and out with the breast, Miguel. In through the nose. Very good. Now let it go. It moves. Amazing. Now. In through the bloated nose, and out through those wrinkled lips. Ooh la la! It's so simple, come on! Air through the nose, and out the mouth. Breathe out, please. That is okay. In the nose, out the mouth. Okay, Doc? Out with the breath. Maintain it.
In and out with the breath, Mikhail. Let it out, baby. Maybe there's hope for him. A small, tiny, minuscule, maybe. This is gonna have to do. Now we will do something more complicated. Sometimes, when I do this pose, I weep uncontrollably for hours. Oh, wow. You feel that? The emotion inside? Let it go. <laughs> Michael, join us. I feel like I'm channeling bullshit right now. Breathe, Mikkel. Exhale. There. There it is. The silly man forgets to breathe. Out through those wrinkled lips. Keep it tight. Now, you breathe. Let it go. Keep this up and we might actually have a shared interest. You can breathe, can't you? Out through the mouth. He's got great core strength for someone who's totally rotten there. Yeah, I'm about to feel some emotions, all right. Remember, children, do not fear the unknown. We are the unknown. Show us, Amanda. I don't think Michael's up to this. Hmm, he may surprise you. Plank. Plank. Chaturanga. Chata, yeah. Feel the flow. Mm. Everything mm. is flowing in me. <sighs> Mike, would you? Put the Luna to the face. Breathe, please, Michael. Let it out. Hold the anus. Your lungs, they work, yes? Breathe out, please. Your inner eye. Take in the air and release it. Out with the breath. This is what I was talking about. Can't you see how blocked he is? Breathing is almost the most important thing, no? Exhale. <sighs> Not bad. Breathe, please, Michael. Out through those wrinkled lips. No vanity. Come on. Your lungs, they work, yes? Out through the mouth. Can you thank us now for saving you from the couch? Take in the air and release it. Fabian's body with your bank account would be the perfect man. <sighs> You have come a long way today, Mikael. Huh? Yes, later you will cry like a baby. Yeah, right. His chakras are completely blocked. Don't worry about him. Show me the downward dog. I'm glad we have helped with your impotence, Mikael. What'd you say? Your sexual energies have been blocked for too long. Back into my pelvis. Back. What? Back, back. Yes, there you go. Mm, oh, oh, very... oh, oh, oh! What? Hey, enough of that! Shit. Ah! Oh, my God. 
Yoga is the answer, Mikkel. But what is the question? Uh, why am I such a moron? We are leaving, and we are never coming back. Good! You are alone, you pathetic psychopath! Ugh, fuck you! Hand it! Bony! French! Fucking Yogi! Ah! Jimmy! You still here? James! Fuck off! Oh, yeah. Fuck you. You know what? If there was a rape button, I'd be... It's nice TV. Did I pay for that? Yeah, you smashed the other one, didn't you? All right, come on. I want to go for a ride. I got to meet a friend. All right, so I'll go meet him with you. Come on, I want to get out of the house. I'm not going alone. Come on. This is fucking bullshit. Bullshit? Threatening to molest your online buddies is bullshit. They're not my buddies. They're the only people you speak to. So where's your friend? Burger shot. Yeah, nice to see the kids are still hanging out at the burger joints. Me and the guys, we'd go down to the diner after class every day. You know, get milkshakes, fries. Ew, please. You know, you're really creeping me out. I'm trying to relate to you. No, you're trying to take me on some nostalgia trip. You're such a cliche. Oh, says the dope-smoking, game-playing, live-at-home world owes him a living millennial. I knew it. I knew it. The mask was gonna slip. The monster's been exposed. The hell are you talking about? The real you. That bitter, vindictive old man. You pretend you're being a father, but you hate me, don't you? I don't hate you, Jim. How many times... I love you. Look, I'm sorry if I don't express that correctly. But why do you think we're here together? Because you're scared shitless of being alone? Oh, now you're an armchair psychologist. Just like the rest of this city. You brought me here, Michael. Don't get surprised when some of the razzle-dazzle rubs off. Well, I thought you'd keep your head. You know, see through some of the bullshit. You really have to meet my friend? Yeah, I really do. Then please don't get weird. For once in your life, don't be weird. There he is, the friendly neighborhood drug dealer. <laughs> Yo, oh, brother man, what's man? up? What's How you up, doing? man? Good to see you. What are you, turning tricks to pay for this shit, huh? Hey, who's the old man? It's my dad. Oh, all right, Mr. DeSanto. <laughs> yeah, you the kid selling Jimmy pot by the pound? Mm. Ah, <laughs> oh, Jimmy, bro, your dad's funny, man. Come on, do this shit and let's get going. Oh, yeah, you, you got that other thing? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, man, what the fuck, Jimmy? Just, just hold on a second. Oh, all right, all right, later on. Careful with that. Hey, let's bounce. Bounce. We're bouncing now. Is that what we're doing? Jesus fucking Christ. All righty then. Now what? Can we just get back to the house, please? So, uh, want a drink? I'm driving. Because normally you're such a between-the-white-lines, friend-to-the-pedestrian kind of guy. Fine. Give it here. Okay, your turn. Maybe when we get home. Ah, who's the square now? <laughs> I'm starting to feel a little woozy. You're fine. No. Really, this is not Chill normal. Out. You're just paranoid. This is not paranoia. This is totally justified <laughs> concern. You should see yourself. Look out. Would you quit being such a drama queen and get us to the house? Fuck! Whoa! Shit! I got up all over. Oh, who was in there? It's harmless. Vets have been using it for decades. What? You anesthetize me? You fucking shit. I'm protecting shit. you from yourself. Also, I took money from your bank account and I'm moving out. What? Right? You're too crazy, Dad. Come on.
Michael, I think you finally lost your mind. Your recent behavior and the company you've been keeping already had me very concerned. Now you've taken to attacking my Fabian, who is a close friend, and then Jimmy said you took drugs while driving him in your car. Well, we've decided to move out for a while. You promised me you'd change, and you haven't changed a bit. I know you say I always act like I'm in a movie. Well, this isn't that. I think I'm gonna speak to a lawyer. I'm just really confused. Please, don't try to contact us and try not to get yourself killed. Amanda.
DeSanta. That's not the name in your file, Michael. Steve Haynes here. Yeah, Agent Douchebag. Hey, that poor bitch we grabbed for you still breathing? See for yourself, right now. Trevor Phillips is on his way to help with the debrief. Warehouse, off Dutch London and Banning. Great. Sounds just like my kind of party. The hell are you doing? Oh, nothing! Are you taking a dump? Why do you care, huh? The fuck is wrong with you? Oh, I got abandonment issues. I see a shrink once a week. You know, fuck you. Yeah, well, you know. There's nothing like meeting a bunch of creeps from the government in a quiet building for someone to grow balls. Did you see his face that last time I popped it? <laughs> Boom! Oh, ladies! God, you're an asshole. You, you back there. I know you, but you? You, I don't know. Yeah, well, until I see reason otherwise, why don't we just keep it that way? Steve, what a pleasure, bro. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> He reminds me of one of those guys you see advertising pills for middle-aged men that can't get erections. <laughs> hey, Devin Weston is a very good friend of mine, so why don't you watch your tongue? Because let me tell you something, that guy gets more tail than, uh... <laughs> than a tail catcher. <laughs> <laughs> I have to fucking remember that line. <laughs> you, mm. where did we meet? Nowhere, pal. Yeah, we did. Hey, oh, what are we doing here, huh? This. Please, keep the slick bastard away from me. No, 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 Ferdinand, he's gone. He's gone. It's okay, I've got some new friends here now. No, this okay. is Michael, and this, this is Trevor. No. Now our friend here, he claims he doesn't know I anything. Don't, I don't know anything. I don't know, I already told nothing. Nothing, I don't know anything. Please, please, sir. You know about the Azerbaijanis? Huh? Azerbaijanis. I do audiovisual, hi-fi audiovisual. It's top man, good price, VIP, you know? You're so, a fucking spy. 
And the asswipes at the agency know this. So I need to know, what did you tell them, and what did they tell you? I, I, told, hmm? I told them what I tell you. Uh-huh. What is, I, I, this whoa, 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 what is this? The house in Rockwood Hills, the man who owns it, he works at the consulate. Oh, that's all I know. That's it. That's it. That's it. I go. You're gonna make him speak. No, 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 no. You two are gonna drive up to Rockford Hills. No. And when we find out which man is the man with the problem, you put him down. No, 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 no. Because no, no, I'm tired of these fucking nitwits no, at the agency no. taking all the glory. Let me go. All right. Fuck is all this, huh? I think it's a good time, buddy. You know? It's a good time. Go for a drive. Oh, wait, wait. No. You get to work, and uh, I'm not here. It's Caesar's place, around the corner from your house. Yeah, the more I see of your boss, the more I like him. I was you, I wouldn't be so critical of who others associate with. So is he gonna be a problem? For sure. But there's nothing we can do about it. If something happened to him right now, I'd be right under a microscope. An electron microscope of bureaucratic shit. And that would make it very difficult to keep old secrets. Oh, well, boo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo for you. You know who else is having trouble keeping secrets, asshole? Me. After you brought Trevor in on this. I only brought him in after you put out your press release. Townley's taking scores again. The Los Santos reboot. If we didn't control the situation and he'd unearth this connection, then what? Then Trevor flips out, beheads me, kills my family, or raises them as his own. I don't know which is worse. Anyway, any of that could happen at any time. Slow down. Let's think this through. What does he know? He knows I'm alive. He knows I got money. And now he knows I'm working with the FIB. Does he know how long you've been working with the FIB? How long? The fuck does that matter? Either you were working with us before the cash depot job, you walked your crew into an ambush, one of them spent 10 years on the run, and the other landed in a federal penitentiary. Or, or, we stumbled on the cash depot job, Brad went down, you went down, Trevor got away, the FIB cut you a deal on your sickbed, faked your death, and you end up here. Who's to say which of those is true? That there's any doubt probably accounts for you being alive. Back there, Hi. Trevor made you right away, the second he saw you. Do you remember after the bust, I was in all the papers. I was on the evening news. The man who killed Michael Townley. Yeah, I was quite a trophy. A good head to hang on your wall. Back then, sure. Not now. This is bullshit. This place? Davey, they've been shooting the real cunts of suburbia here the last few weeks. No way that's your guy. Shit. You are kidding me. I'll call Steve. Wrong house. This guy isn't our guy. Okay, okay, okay. You sure you don't silence him just to make sure? If we're silencing someone, we're silencing the right someone. Get me another address. Cut. Uh, hey, you want a coffee? Can I get you anything? Turns out that was the wrong Azerbaijani. We need a new address from Mr. K. Choose your instrument and go to work on it. Where do we start, eh, buddy? Uh, wait. What are you talking about, the wrong guy? I can't legally tell you to do this, but do it. Not that. No, come on, please! You can't! Turn him off! Don't zap me! <laughs> I am clever! Not that! Don't do it! Not 
the clips! No, no, no! <laughs> Don't fry him completely. <laughs> did, you, did you see his face when I did that? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Phillips, ask him about Tahir Javan. Why didn't you ask me? I know Tahir. I did his home theater. He lives in Chumash, right into the Western Highway. Oh, that wasn't so tough, was it? Huh? <laughs> did you get that? Did you hear him? Lives in Chumash, the Western Highway. Chumash, you're driving. Remember, terror does not take coffee breaks. <sighs> what a dick. <laughs> So how are Steve and Trevor getting along? Seems like a productive relationship. You know, like I said, he's got his uses. And as you can see, we're trying to take full advantage of him. Then what? This thing with the agency gets put to rest and we don't need you anymore. Right. And what about Trevor? What about him? I need some resolution, Davey. You let him walk. You said you'd clean the whole thing up back in North Yankton. And you told me it'd be a clean job, no casualties. There were more eyes on that town than there needed to be. Yeah, well, according to my eyes, Trevor's your problem, Dave, as much as he is mine. He's not a problem at all. We're monitoring him. Has he said anything about Brad? Fuck yeah, he has. Plenty. I keep changing the subject. You know, he thinks you might actually commute Brad's sentence when this is all over. That's good. Fine work. We'll send another letter. It's about time anyway. Oh, so that's you who's been sending those fucking letters to Trevor, huh? Yeah. He thinks they're from Brad. Who he thinks is locked up. Oh, for fuck's sake. Who he thinks is locked up in high security and not, well, not six feet under in a grave marked Michael Townley. The trainees write them. It's a good exercise. Yeah, the fuck. How'd that get started? A few years ago, a letter came to the federal prison system addressed to Brad. It wasn't signed, but it gave a P.O. box in Sandy. Are you But it gave a P.O. box in Sandy Shores. I played the part of Brad, and we started a correspondence. This'll do. All right. Find out who we're looking for. Yeah, we need a description of the target. Yeah, uh, I'll take care of it. Loosen him up. Oh, no, no, please. I tell what? you what you Loosen want to Loosen him know. up! No, please. Tell me where to start. Are any of those teeth less useful than the others? My teeth are perfect! Let me bite it! Please don't! Mercy! Oh, you ain't 
gonna be chewing steak anytime soon. I don't know why 